<laughs> no comment. <laughs> That's a, a really nicely working lawnmower in Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, Mo? I got the copyright. Oh my god. Oh, Mo 2.0. Snapshot. Slimers. Snapshot. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Oh. They're swimming up. <laughs> Hello, hello guys, it's Dogem and I'm here together with the Zip Crowd crew. Hey guys! Hey! Hello! Hey! Woohoo! Hey! And it is snapshot time. Today it is 14W06A and yeah, this is the snapshot where the changes to the slime AI were implemented. You can see that here we have this crazy cube of water and yeah, slime swimming up. Um, we did several tests with them about their behavior. It's pretty interesting. First of all, of course, yeah, they do swim up and it seems um, every sort of slime swims up. Um, but we saw also the small slime have some problems with the swimming, right? Yeah, most of the small slimes actually get stuck at the bottom. Yeah. Maybe you can see them. Uh, yeah. They will drown rather quickly and they will not always make it up. They actually get stuck. The medium and the big ones uh, swim up perfectly. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm wearing a nice helmet right now, um, yeah, f f respiration, you can see it, um, the baby slime seem to stuck um, below, which is an interesting behavior um, if you think about farming and so on. Um, so yeah, you could still basically drown him somehow. <laughs> and <laughs> um, yeah, we also did some tests about how their movement is and all. Um, if you go over here, we have this little platform and yeah, let's put a slime on there and you can see he's running off and he jumps off but they do uh, change their direction now randomly but you can still make him fall off platforms you can see he takes um, yeah fall damage from here and, and uh, he changed the direction yeah. that didn't happen before so this is actually pretty cool because that makes the slimes less likely to get stuck in corners if yeah. they randomly change the direction so this is actually an improvement for farming slimes as yeah. i would say you see that this guy here he just you know he he flips around exactly as jl mentioned for example if you imagine a guy you know running to into the wall and he just turns around and runs away so the new AI behavior of the slime is not too bad. You also did uh, some tests, JL, about um, yeah how far you can go away and so on. And um, what did you yes. find out about that? S so uh, the slimes still move when you're further away than th uh, 32 meters. So they just move uh, always pretty much as long as you're not that far away that they start to despawn, yep. which is 128 meters. So that's pretty cool. And I like the new ch slime AI. Yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty decent. There might be uh, more mobs um, having some AI changes. Of course, um, we saw it with Magma cubes um, yeah that's the same as the slime they could also swim up without a problem and in case you wonder um, how did we do this crazy water cube here and slimes cannot get out and um, you can see it in my inventory and yeah now another new feature shows up looks super strange um, you can see that here and um, if you are in creative mode you can actually see the barrier blocks and they're uh, yeah displayed with this yeah how do you call it? It's not even a block, but you can see the outline if you go close. It's a, like a 3D symbol. If you go inside here, it looks pretty strange. Yeah, <laughs> it's strange because the, uh, yeah. those uh, particles are rendered behind the water. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dude, I'm totally trippy. I'm in here. XP <laughs> bottles. Uh, XP pops up. Weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Another thing. Um, last time it didn't work really well, but um, in spectator mode, uh, you can now um, um, fly faster and there's new uh, functionalities to spectator mode. We want to show that next. So um, one sec, we're going to set up teams and then we can demonstrate that to you. All right. So I'm in spectator mode, as you obviously can see. And yeah, 
Um, it's cool now. They have a new function that is an outline function, you know, to see um, the other players better. You have to assign a hotkey, but I'm quickly going to press it and activate it. And you can see um, it's even the team colors. You see Pommes Peter over there is team yellow. And we got Ganon as team red, banana yellow. You know, you can clearly see and it makes it really easy to spot people. Look even over there. Um, who's that? Is that Panda in the distance? Um, all the way over there. Yeah, I think it's Panda riding, <laughs> <laughs> riding, <laughs> riding a pig. Um, uh, yeah, so that is really cool. And yeah, maybe someone can quickly set themselves to um, spectator mode too. Maybe Banane or so. I'm just looking at you right now. And yeah, if you press the outline button um, there as well, you can see his head becomes uh, more clearly visible. Um, it's no longer kind of see-through. It becomes really visible. And yeah, for Pommes with the helmet, it, the effect is kind of weird. Looks pretty spooky with these flying heads. I have to say, whoa, gel. <laughs> 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 so yeah, you just have to go to your option settings and uh, controls. And then if you scroll down a bit um, at miscellaneous, you have the highlight player spectators. And yeah, I have it set to the um, yeah bracket uh, key up there. That works for me. I don't think you will use it quite often. And you have to hold the key. It's not toggle. Um, it's like um, you have to hold it down. And yeah, also last time we didn't show that because it didn't really work well. But using your mouse wheel now, you can speed up um, how fast you go. I mean, it's pretty fast. I don't know. I think this is max speed right now. And you can also slow down by just yeah scrolling your mouse wheel. And that is really helpful in spectator mode. And of course, all the other good stuff with the clipping still mm -hmm. works and now you can outline teams which is would really be cool, cool if dinavon also added the feature that uh, the is going up and down with spacebar and shift in spectator mode would scale with the uh, scroll wheel button that would be uh, pretty helpful i guess yeah. but maybe that's getting added yeah going up and down is still the normal flying speed there's also a new achievement um, um let's quickly check that out guys um here um getting wood um, now i need to make a um, workbench then I need to get the pickaxes and then we have the new Apple achievement so let's try that out um, so I guess here getting wood achievement <laughs> gotten now I need to make a workbench place that down yeah okay now I need to uh, make me some sticks and a pickaxe let's do that yeah. okay and now uh, it's a stone pickaxe or what is it uh, probably. Yeah. There you go. Okay, let's try it out. Or maybe diamond, we'll see. Didn't even <laughs> know with the achievements. Ah, yeah. Okay, getting an upgrade. Let's quickly check. Options, um, achievements. Okay, we got it. Okay, overpowered. Build a notch apple. Alright. So let's try to do it. We got an apple. Gold blocks. It's a notch apple. <laughs> and... Yay. Yay! It's purple. <laughs> New achievement. Overpowered. Not gentle. <laughs> yum yum. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, we're doing some more tests with the water behavior of mobs and what oh, the squid right in my face. <laughs> Get out of here. And yeah, Panda found something cool out. Um, it looks like, you know, all mobs with a body size below one. Have some kind of hard time swimming. Oh, swimming actually, up. While they're hunting each other, they make it up. Yeah, they're hunting if each you other. <laughs> if you just spawn one, they, they don't get up. Like a chicken down here. Yeah. Yeah, it's also the small mm -hmm. slimes. All mobs with a body size uh, less than one seem to have trouble. <laughs> okay. Well. I, I guess that's not new. Uh, baby animals uh, had a hard time swimming up uh, always. So. <laughs> Fun <that. laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's animal cruelty. Save yourself, parents. <laughs> Save yourself. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. Okay, I'm gonna cut before it happens. Well, guys, looks like um, Enderman became retarded. <laughs> um, look. Yeah. <laughs> they became incapable of teleporting out of water. Which we're not sure if that is intended or not, but um, you can also toss potions on them, right, Banane? Yep. So, interesting experiments here. Enderman. Do they regen or die from it? They, they regen. Aha. Uh -huh. 
So regen potion regens enderman. Interesting. Um, we thought maybe it's related to the barriers, but even over here, if this, you know, have this really super flat water thingy, put an enderman in, totally freezes. Doesn't know what to do. And Panda, over there you did some tests with lava, right? Yeah, lava behaves the same. Mm -hmm. um, if you spawn one in. Yeah, no, no, that's not an enderman, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. But um, if you shoot them with an arrow, they still do teleport out. Right. Yeah, same thing goes for damage portions. So it just seems to be the, the water and the lava um, where it changed. <laughs> so we'll see if that is intended or not. And yeah, um, last but not least, we want to look at command blocks. And Wooby was preparing something over there. And yeah, we'll check that out now. All right, command block stuff. And Wooby is the man for that. Um, yeah, so take it over. A lot of stuff. Small things, but good things. Uh, first off, the effect command, you know, which, with which you could uh, get potion effects, for example, mm -hmm. has now an added option to turn particles off. Mm -hmm. So, if I step on here, I should become invisible, mm -hmm. but with particles. Yes. Yeah, we can see that. But if I get invisible here, you shouldn't see any particles at all. Oh, sweet, sweet. Yep. Yeah. Works. That is nice. It's a cool yeah, feature for map makers. Just done with the alt effect command and just add a true in the end. If you leave it out or add a false in there where the true right now is, mm. you will get particles as always. Nice. What else do we get? The trigger command, Ooh. so to speak. Um, just click on it. Where? Here? On the glowstone lantern? No, on the red text that says click oh. this. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, oh, attempt uh -huh. already. Pom is triggered at first. So yeah, um, oh. ah, yeah basically just it. a way to <laughs> access scoreboard easily as a non-OP player. Ah, With the trigger okay. you can set a certain objective to a certain value and you can test for that, yeah. react to that. You could give people permission, for example, to reset a scoreboard without being ops and all, for example, right? Kind of, yeah. And games and all these things. Yeah, it's Not good. really reset, but set to a certain value. Okay. Mm. Yeah, uh, then Oof. objectives itself. Um, we could, of course, before with scoreboard track things like uh, mining certain blocks or placing them. Yeah. And um, if you look in one of those command blocks, it's a small change. Before we had blocks based on numbers, mm -hmm. but now we have them uh, based on their name. Similar yeah. to the give command and set block command, they all work based on their names now, okay. instead of just simple numbers. So they're just basically making the code the same for all functionalities. Yeah, all, all preparation right. for the plugin API, it seems. Yeah, um, nice. Then let's quickly do this. So see a little scoreboard on the side now? Mm -hmm. We have two different scores. Yep. Dirt which track the mining. dirt and grass mining. Yeah. Okay, that just caused a crash if uh, when somebody <laughs> dug grass, pomes. <laughs> How could I know? I, I didn't make the code. Yeah, that's a, uh, it a bug. Uh, it's a bug, but it will be fixed in the B snapshot. But yeah, um, the point was you can now individually um, reset certain stats, yeah. right? So uh, if you look at the scoreboard, I will just press this button mm. and I'm out of that scoreboard. But yep. I'm still in the other one. Yep. So before we could also reset individual scores but that would happen for all our objectives yeah that's really nice a small change nice. Yeah, but that's helpful yeah that's a good one no uh, just press this button get a sword thanks you will notice something look at the sword mm -hmm. you see it's enchanted but hover over it you don't see which enchantment no it says minecraft now you can yeah. and uh, disable the Showing off certain stats, for example, the enchantments or um, the damage oh. it does. You also don't see this plus seven damage it normally has. Yeah. And you can also hide for adventure mode, for example, if a certain item can destroy other blocks. Uh -huh. such. Nice. So that's nicely done with a new flag, with a new NBT tag called Hide Flags. And mm -hmm. it's a bit mask for people who are familiar with that. Nice. You can look it up on mojang.com. They posted there what bit that's what sweet and Got one it. last thing here for adventure modes style maps um, just get into adventure mode and get one of those Kay. redstone blocks from this command block you go game mode 2 okay 
clicking. Ah. Try to place the redstone block below the lamp here. Can't. Now place it against the piston. Can. Aha. Awesome. So, so similar to tools where you can set which blocks they can break, you can set for blocks now onto which blocks you can place them. Yep, and you say here, can place on Minecraft piston. And yeah, you can make a complete list there of yep. different blocks, of course. That's really cool. That gives a ton of new options for adventure maps. Really, really awesome. Thanks a lot, Wubi, for finding all this stuff out. Um, you know, Wubi is our, yeah, our guy for the command blocks. It's always on top of it. It's really cool. Thanks a lot. I definitely want to especially thank you for that because I know it's always a kind of yeah, a pain to figure out. <laughs> Thanks, but uh, I like it. Um, yeah, of course. You guys tweet a lot about that stuff. They yeah. seem, Mojang seems to like the command blocks too. Most definitely. So yeah, guys, I'd say that wraps it up. We will look into more um, AI changes. Maybe we find out some more. We will let you know as usual. I hope you like this snapshot review. Um, Panda is doing strange experiments. Hopefully he'll return soon. Um, yeah, he's busy at the moment, but yeah, he'll tell you himself when he's ready. <laughs> we see you next time. I'm out. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.